Hi, I'm Dave with Crown Bees, here to give you some professional advice on whole nesting bees. Here at Crown Bees, our goal is to help you be as successful as possible raising the bees. And probably the number one success piece is harvesting cocoons in the fall or spring, depending upon which bee you're raising. Now these bees are in these holes are next year's bees. And because the holes have been pulled together tightly, pests are able to walk through there and there's just a variety of things that are just eating our bees. Bees are important to us. So we're gonna show you how to harvest cocoons and we're gonna show you some of the pests that we found here in the Northwest that should be similar to what you'll find elsewhere. Parasitic wasps are small, about the size of a gnat. They're attracted to your bee house because they like to lay their eggs inside developing bee larvae. They typically attack through the walls of thin nesting materials like paper tubes and will reinvigorate themselves every year. Each bee species is susceptible to a fungal infection called chalk brood. What happens is the bee larva, they munch on a few chalk brood spores that are mixed into their pollen loaf. The chalk brood kills the bees and turns the bees into a spore-shaped larva. The following season, unsuspecting bees emerge past that spore or larva and spread the chalk brood down the nesting holes onto the face of the bee house, other nesting holes, and back out into your yard. New bees bring the spores back into their nesting hole and it falls into the pollen, only to be eaten again, infecting more bees. And this just accelerates every year. Pollen mites are super small bugs that eat pollen. They arrive stuck to the pollen under the bee and are deposited in the pollen. If there are enough, these mites eat all the pollen before the freshly laid egg can hatch and eat the pollen first. It's typically a race to see which gets to the pollen mound first. The pollen mites stay in the nesting holes all winter long and in the spring piggyback on bees to your yard. The mites also stay in the nesting hole for freshly laid pollen or they crawl to the nesting hole next to them for fresh pollen and these mites just keep on getting more and more each year. Some types of beetles lay their eggs in your bees' freshly placed pollen loaf and then emerge the following year to lay more eggs in that hole or other holes around there. Before you know it, there are a lot of beetles and no bees. Other beetles can chew right through cocoon partitions and eat all of your nesting bees. Oh, man, it's really shocking to see what's inside those holes. For the, for the bees, it's eat or get eaten. Now, we care at Crown Bees about your bees, and so we have you harvesting cocoons in the fall or the spring again, depending upon which bee you're raising. It just takes 20 to 30 minutes uh, each year. It's easy. We've also got uh, videos on our website that shows you how to open up paper tubes, reeds, or wood trays. Real simple. Now, if you've been raising your bees in bamboo or drilled blocks of wood, uh, it's kind of tough for you. Uh, the bees can't safely be pulled out of these holes and, and have them alive. So um, the bees are on their own fighting off the diseases and pests. We do have a blog that's called Moving Day for Native Bees that shows you how to safely move the bees from something like this into more healthier material. Thanks for caring about your bees. Thanks for watching this video. Now go have fun harvesting cocoons.